Yo, what's good my YouTube family and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing great. And today I'm bringing you a head-to-head -head season gameplay of Madden 15. I told you guys I'm going to bring a bunch of gameplay and a bunch of pack openings to you guys. So we are bringing some gameplay to you guys. Uh, before I get into the gameplay, I want to talk about the topic that I left off. And the last episode of pack open if you want to call it that the player that I got was Julio Jones number 11 he had a huge impact in this game so hopefully you guys can sit back and watch what he did for me I know you guys a lot of said uh, Megatron I was gonna get Megatron but 250 is a lot of coins for one player I'd rather get somebody with similar stats who is two inches shorter than Megatron but has similar stats and the same speed and same capability as Megatron, but for cheaper. I got Julio for like 65 or 70k. I got him for really cheap compared to Megatron, who goes for around 250 at best, sometimes 200 if you're lucky. Um, so I got, I got him. He's playing for me. So watch out for Julio Jones. Also, going back on the Michael Sand. Soon after I uploaded that video, a couple hours later. Cowboys picked them up and let me know in the comments below do you think that was a good pickup or was it a dumb move by the Cowboys in my opinion I think the Cowboys did that to get more uh, publicity if you want to call it that just like one of you guys said in the comments below many teams don't want that for their NFL roster they don't want the microscope on their team but for uh, Jerry Jones and the Cowboys, they love the attention. They love to be mainstream. And look at Julio Jones making a name for herself. Touchdown. Going back to the Michael Sam, uh, a lot of NFL teams don't really like that. They want to be, their locker room wants to be low key. They don't want media all around their locker room 24 7. But I know the Cowboys like the attention. Jerry Jones got that billion dollar stadium down in texas and maybe he wants to sell some tickets even though he's going to be on the practice squad he's not officially on the uh starting lineup or anything like that he's on the practice squad so maybe he wants to get some tickets sold for practice maybe he wants to get him eventually starting or maybe even on the bench where people would come pay lots of money because i'm pretty sure nfl tickets for uh the cowboys is dumb expensive in that new stadium you gotta get you gotta pay for it somehow so i'm sure that he wants people to come support michael sand and make money i'm thinking that's the concept of jerry jones i don't know, see other reason why i mean they did lose uh demarcus ware so maybe they're looking for somebody to replace him being michael sand maybe that's the reason they picked him up i don't know but let me know in the comment section down below do you think it's a good choice for uh, jerry jones and the cowboys to pick him up or do you think it was a dumb move to get him it was no reason for that at all i don't know let me know in the comments below what you guys think so as you can see in the gameplay we are up seven to zero we are playing pretty well we have the ball we have less than two minutes to get at least a touchdown we see marquis Colston down the middle of the field and on the very next play, I saw X had a step, just that Kaepernick threw it straight to the defender compared to throwing it to my tight end while in motion. But luckily, we get the ball back, but we do get sacked. Uh, let me know in the comments what player you think is a good fit for my team, who I should add. Maybe another receiver, maybe another tight end, maybe a different quarterback, maybe a different running back. Just leave your comments down below somebody that's decent not too expensive as you can see i threw a pick i saw a step julio jones had a step on his cornerback just that kaepernick didn't have the arm strength to deliver that ball however many yards that it was that he had to deliver the ball so it was a throw shorter than it should have been so it was picked. but like i was saying let me know in the comments if i should upgrade to any other player i have thomas davis at one of my linebackers i have ryan cushions at one of the other uh perfect as my other linebacker i don't have really any elites uh D -line -line, but i think i have one johnson i forgot carolina Panthers. i forgot i think that's what i have that 
D line. But let me know if I should upgrade any player, what player has been working for you guys pretty well. And let me know in the comments below if I should get him or if I shouldn't. I do have Mike Evans, as you see, he's been playing in the game. He is a stud 6 for 5. He is an, I could say a Megatron. He is like a Megatron, just that he's a little bit slower. Megatron has 92 speed and he has 89. And I don't think he has the awareness, of course, because he's a rookie. He doesn't have the awareness as a Megatron. But his stats are very, I compared the two, their stats are very, very, uh, sorry, very similar. So if you're looking for a cheap, cheaper version of Megatron, I would say go get yourself a Mike Evans Rising Star. Not the regular, the Rising Star. Which is, uh, I think, it took me 20,000 coins to complete the collection. So I would recommend it for you guys to go complete that instead of trying to pull yourself or go in and spending out the 250,000 coins for a Megatron. You may get a similar card for 20,000 coins. That's my opinion for you guys. You can take it or you don't want to. As you can see, we're on defense now. He is marching down the field at second and six, and he is roaming around the pocket. And he finds somebody down the middle. I don't even know who that was. But EJ Manuel, third and three, once again, scrambling around, looking around for somebody, and we knocked the ball down. So now it's fourth and three. We're looking to get the stop to get the ball back with less than a minute. I see his tight end, and we had two defenders, but nobody could knock that ball out of his hand. Fortunately, he scores a touchdown, so now it is 7-7. Seven seven. We have ball back, and now we get sat on the play with a dumb animation. Kaepernick, you should have stood up. So 2nd and 16, we lost 6 on the play, and we're looking, and we almost threw a pick, unfortunately. So 3rd and 16, we're scrolling around, looking for somebody down the field, and we see Julio Jones to the 5. Touchdown, Julio Jones, New York Jets up 14 to 7. And we're looking to come out this game with a victory. So now it's 39 seconds, and he finds his tight end right down the middle. Like I was telling you guys in one of my previous videos, people tend to go down the field down the middle nine times out of ten. And look at this amazing catch around three defenders. I don't even know who that was, but three defenders, and he runs hurry up. He is on first and goal on the eight yard line. He's running hurry up. I need to figure out a play that was contain EJ Manuel and be able to get a pick or something. He's scrolling around and he finds D'Angelo Hall for the interception. And we come out this game victorious after that pick. We just ran the clock out and that is victory for us. We do win 14 to seven. Good game by my opponent it was a close nail-biting game d'angelo hall comes down in the clutch with the interception in the end zone to conceal the victory for us hopefully you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for the next one and i am out peace